Each time there was a claim of illegitimacy, it was backed up by actual fraud. Unlike the Democrats who just blame a random country based on a fabricated dossier, even when said country had more to benefit with Clinton in office. I would like to point out again, not only were no cities burned down, but the FBI and Capitol Police were in on the whole thing. I am really getting tired of having to explain that this was a mostly peaceful protest. However, I will continue as long as the fake news continues to insist that it was a riot. Don't worry, give it time. I'm sure you can find some way to blame Russia collusion. Um, what does this have to do with anything? Unless they are trying to imply that that fire hydrant actually has gasoline in it. Then everything would make sense. Because not wanting myocarditis or pericarditis is so immature. And I think they're also forgetting one very important thing about Rand Paul. He is Dr. Rand Paul. Wait, what? Just because there is a governor that opposes CRT? Teaching children to judge others based on skin tone sounds like the least loving thing there is. Hmm, not to mention inflation and taxes through the roof. Everything is going to get more expensive and your paycheck and savings will be worth less and less. But hey, government spending that could have been done on the local level.